Zebra mussels pose a new and menacing threat to Kansas waters. They first appeared in the U.S. in 1988, arriving on cargo ships from Europe and establishing themselves in the Great Lakes. By 1993, the first were found in Kansas at El Dorado Reservoir, where they quickly destroyed habitat. Now, six Kansas lakes are infested, and all Midwestern lakes and watersheds are in jeopardy. Jason Geckler, Kansas Wildlife and Parks Aquatic Nuisance Specialist in Emporia, is leading the fight to stop the spread. Geckler explains why this is critical. Uh, zebra mussels' impacts are twofold, economic and in environmental. On the economic side, they attach to uh, any structure out in the water and uh, water pipes. And most of our reservoirs here in the West are uh, water reservoirs, water supply reservoirs. And so zebra mussels will attach and plug up uh, pipes. And the cost of removal is quite significant. Uh, estimated nationwide expenditures to re remove zebra mussels is right at $1 billion annually. Uh, power generation spends $145 million a year just to try and control the zebra mussel. And so the stakes are quite high with that. On the environmental side, they, they uh, some people think it, it, they're a positive thing for fisheries, and that is incorrect. Where uh, they are filter feeders, and so they're removing things out of the water column, but they're not removing the bad things, they're removing the good things, the zooplankton, uh, the things that, that fish need to survive. And so you may see an increase in water clarity, uh, but not water quality. When zebra mussels first came in the El Dorado Reservoir in 2003, we began monitoring the population and seeing how they impact our, our sport fisheries. And after the first three years of int after introduction, we saw a sharp decline in uh, prey fish species and sport fish populations. Now the populations are starting to rebound, and, and uh, it's yet to be seen how, how the impact is going to be long term. But initially, we did see a, a sharp de decrease. Geckler tells how you can help. Nobody wants to see zebra mussels spread in Kansas, and you don't want to be the one responsible for bringing zebra mussels to your favorite lake. So here are the three steps you need to take. Clean, drain, dry. When we say clean, you mean at the boat ramp before you leave, just do a quick walk around of your boat. Just, just look around and see if, if there's anything attached, and if there is, just remove it. So remove any plants, any zebra mussels that may be attached, or any mud that may be on your anchor or anywhere around the boat. Just just clean that. Then the next step is drain. Just pull your plugs on your live wells and bilges and bait buckets and make sure you don't have any raw water with you when you leave. And then the dry aspect of it is before you go to the next lake, make sure your boat is completely dry, uh, either uh, a five-day waiting time or if you need to go sooner than that, just take it to a car wash and rinse it off. We still have some Kansas lakes that are clean and we all just need to work together to make sure that we can keep these clean. Because zebra mussel spread is preventable. We just have to work together. I'm Mike Blair for Kansas Wildlife and Parks.